But Miss Bryant, I want you to connect the dots for me, okay? Your, your work as a CEO, Right of Visions Training and Wellness LLC, and your purpose. Connect the dots for me. How is that serving your purpose? That is serving my purpose because I give people a glimmer of hope where they have none. And I take that tunnel vision and turn it into a brighter vision. Um, I continue to empower people. I encourage people and I, I let people know just as I have discovered my purpose, you can too. What I, what, what I, what I drive home is no matter what situation you're in, you can rise above it. You don't have to stay stuck where you are. And I'm so passionate about that. I was just today, Dr. Stevens, and I had a conversation with a young lady, didn't even know the conversation was needed. And she was stuck. And what I, I encourage her to do, we have to change our thinking, first of all. Sometimes we always look at life because we've made mistakes, whether it be financial relationships, whatever, and we feel like we're stuck. And we just can't get out. But what I tell people, if you, the first step is, if you woke up this morning, that is a start right there. That means you have one more chance to get it right. You can't redo yesterday. Yesterday is gone. And I always tell people that. But what you can do is take a different step today. I wholeheartedly believe that. We have to start looking at the small wins because sometimes we don't celebrate that it's so easy to get in a rut uh what we don't have if and i'm sure if we think about right now we can probably say it's five things we don't have but it's a hundred things that we do have and there are certain situations that bring me back i can think back to I was out one, one day taking a walk. I usually would do a five mile walk. And this particular day, for some reason, Dr. Steven said, I was so tired. And I was like, listen, I don't know if I'm going to make it. But when I stopped and thought and I looked back, I was like, wow, I'm sitting here complaining. And I'm over halfway done with this walk. And when I look, look back, it's not as far. I have to go as I was when I started. And if we start getting in the mindset of that, that will truly change our thinking. And that is where I come in to get people to think in different, to get people to release in some stuff. And another thing, connecting people with resources. You know, sometimes people need to be con um, connected with therapists or different services. So I don't proclaim to have it all, but I help them get on their way to a better them. My goal is to help each and every individual that I come in contact with reach their optimal self. And with that, it's work. It takes work. It takes dedication. And it takes you. And sometimes what I find, it takes a hard look in the mirror. That's, you know, that's one of the activities I use. And that is such a powerful tool when I work with people. I give them a mirror and I have them look in it. And it's hard for some people to truly, I don't mean when you walk in past the mirror just to say, oh, you know, oh, my outfit button right and everything. No, you're looking in this mirror because I want you to truly look at the image that you truly see because. You can't move forward until you're truly honest about how you feel about yourself. That's where it starts right there, to get into being self-aware, to get into what your purpose is. But sometimes you got to get rid of all that otherness before you can get to what God's gift is for you. You know, looking in the mirror can be quite an intriguing thing, but also very revealing. If you remove the veil, that you have over your eyes and are open to see yourself as you truly are. You know, so I think that's a powerful thing you're saying, looking in the mirror and taking a good look and then asking the question, am I who I believe I am? Big deal.